Hey love bugs, welcome back to another Tarot Lover Reviews. Today we are taking a look at the Villains Tarot Deck and Guidebook. So if you have heard of this tarot deck or you did not know this tarot deck even existed, hopefully this review and the flip through that comes afterwards helps you to decide on whether or not this tarot deck is right for you. But if you wanna just take a look at the flip through, feel free to take a look at my description. I do have everything cut out in two chapters to make it easier for you to locate and find. But for right now, we are gonna talk about the packaging. We're talking about the guidebook and we're talking about the cards, card stock, card size, the texture of the cards. So if you are interested in that information, definitely stick around and find out. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box. So I absolutely love how they made the villains really stand out with this gloss. Now, also, the uh, publisher of this particular tarot deck is Insight Editions. Now, the reason why I bring them up is because they do a lot of novelty tarot decks. So you probably will see a lot of those within my reviews. So definitely check those out. But uh, another reason why I bring this up is because if you do have any of those other tarot decks, then you can definitely know what you're expecting with with this particular tarot deck because Inside Edition tends to use the same packaging and the same cardstock within their tarot decks. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look how it looks on the inner part of the box. So this is what it looks like. And then you do have uh, a ribbon here that will help to take your tarot cards out of the box a lot easier. Um, so that is the box. Now let's talk about the guidebook. So this is what the guidebook looks like. Really decent size. You will notice the guidebooks are pretty much the same as far as thickness within each of the different tarot decks out there that Inside Edition has. So um, yeah, that's the outside of the box. Now the, the, author of the guidebook is Minerva Siegel and it was illustrated by the cards were illustrated by Ellie Goldwine. Okay. Now with the guidebooks and inside editions, they are always fantastic at making sure that there are themed style tarot spreads towards the end of the guidebook and I always find this greatly helps especially with connecting with your tarot deck for the first time when you're able to utilize a themed deck that is specific to that tarot deck it just makes it that connection so much better right so yeah number one brownie points for them for doing that but um, as far as the cards you get a full view a full page view for the major and then for the minor you get a smaller portion of the card now for the majors you get like a um you get like a description of that particular character it's represented uh, representing and uh, the upright and reversal definitions of that particular card. And then for the minor, you only get the upright and reversal uh, descriptions for those particular cards. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I love this tarot deck. It's beautiful. The downside for me is, and I will be getting into it in a moment, uh, or I might as well get into it right now, honey, because that was the tarot deck or the tarot guidebook. Um, let's talk about the tarot deck. So the one thing that bothers me with this tarot deck is that it's a pip deck. It's a semi pip deck. And if you don't know what a pip deck is, it is where the minor arcana do not give you a story. When you look at the picture, it is simply however many numbers that particular suit is. So if we were to use the three of coins um, or the three of pentacles, right? Three of pentacles in a Rider-Waite-Smith uh, tarot deck shows 
a person, you know, three people uh, and one person is working on like a stone sculpture, right? With three pentacles. That tells you a story that shows you what's going on, what could be going on, what could be said within that particular scenery of that card. Whereas in a pip deck, a three of pentacles may just have three pentacles and that's it gives you no story. So that's why I say this is a pip deck, a, a, a half, like a hybrid pip deck. And why I say that is because of the way that um, the artist set everything up for the minor arcana. So let me give you an example here. Okay, so we'll use... Actually, there is one particular one that I want to use because I just, you can't, you you know who it is when you see it. Um, bear with me for a moment. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that one. Or do I want to do a different one? There was like one in particular that I just, I resonated with. It's, the, <laughs> let me find it, let me find it, let me find it. Okay, well, I'll just use this one because it's definitely um, gives you something. So. This is the five of coins, okay? You just have a five of coins, but then you do have a scenery to relate to. You get like desolate lands, you know, worrying about whether or not you, when your next meal is going to be, right? Um, whereas three of cups, it just has three cups. It doesn't give you too much to work with. So that's why I say it's kind of like a hybrid of a pip deck because um, it gives you something to work off of and then it doesn't give you, you know, so much to work off of. Like here, the six of coins, which would be the six of pentacles. This is LeFou's button up shirt. And He's almost childlike. He follows Gaston all over the place. So it makes sense. So the, the way that they did the pip cards is hybrid because not only are you getting that number of, you know, suit in that particular image, but you're also getting something else just to give you enough, if that makes sense. Um... As far as the naming convention, Major Arcana definitely follows the um, Rider Waite Smith naming convention. Uh, Minor Arcana, uh, all of them follow it except for the Pentacles. In this tarot deck, it's coins, but you do have cups, wands, and swords in this tarot deck as well. But other than that, I was so excited when this tarot deck came out. I love the D Disney villains. It's just, I love the fact that they got their own tarot deck. Um, and yeah, it, it's a very relatable. I will say the court cards as well in the Minor Arcana are of specific Disney villains as well. And you do get within some of the minors Disney villains that come up. So Again, it's a hybrid. You, it's it's a pip, and then it's not a pip deck. So I like that. I like that they did that. It makes me want to utilize it more. Uh, with pip decks, I don't really um, prefer them. I can read them. I just don't prefer them because I love how non pip decks give you more to work off of. Um, I'm a very visual learner. I'm a very I'm visually stimulated. So. I find it's a lot easier to work with those other decks and not pip decks. But yeah, other than that, I hope this review was useful in some way. Be sure to like this video if you did enjoy it. And um, take a look at my channel 
and see if there's any other tarot decks that you are interested in looking at that I've reviewed on. Uh, if you do not find a tarot deck that I've yet to do a review on, comment below and let me know what that tarot deck is because most likely I probably have that tarot deck and I just haven't done a video on it. But if I haven't, if I don't have that tarot deck, I'll definitely look into it. And yeah, without further ado, please enjoy the flip through and I will talk to you guys later. All right, bye.